I'm going to do Charleston chain reaction for Wright Patterson Mahjong. If you're new to this version, there's a link in the video description below for a playlist with fundamentals. Also, you can order this green book. In here are instructions for how to play and descriptions of all the hands for the current publish. They produce a new book about every six years. This particular publish was from 2015 and will go for six years. So 2021, we should see another book. For Charleston Chain Reaction, we're going to focus on the dealt hand and do a Charleston with one direction in mind. Then we'll do it again with the same tiles and compare results. The purpose is to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine who is prevailing. I rolled four, so north is prevailing. These dice will tell us which seat we're in. I rolled a five, so we're going to be east. I will get 14 tiles and create a mock Charleston. For these tiles, we have honors, one of each with dragons and a wind. We have six dots with a pair, three bams, two cracks. If this were your drawn hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? My first thought for this dealt hand is to focus on one suit with honors or one suit. Either one probably would work. Most likely with dragons since we have only one wind. But if we got more honors, we might be able to play a pair hand called Betty. I wouldn't pick a hand yet. We have too many discards. So I would play either one suit or one suit with honors, pair or sequence hand. Let's pass those three. Oh, I almost forgot. We're gonna take a photo. That way we can recreate this. Okay, I got the photo. Now we're gonna pass these. We'll bring in our first pass and take a photo. So we're keeping dots and honors. We have three tiles to pass, so we still don't have to pick a hand. We'll take a photo. And here we have dots. It is north round or north is prevailing and we're in east seat. We might be able to play windy gates. That's a one suit with honors hand. We have to make a choice though right now because we only have two discards. Now we could pass blind the other thing I was thinking is we could play all one suit and get a full pass. All one suit. Let's pass the honors and focus on one suit. Then with the next go round, we'll focus on the honors, maybe see if Heavenly or windy gates would come in. So let's pass these three. That, by the way, is a very risky pass. If your opponent is playing a hand of honors, 
you might feed right into their hand. But we're pretty close here and have some really good sequence opportunities. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, pungs, pung chow. Let's see what we get. We got a dragon. Okay, let's take a photo and we'll count the discards. So we have four discards for probably Peng Chao or maybe Piano Keys. Those are both sequence hands. On page 18, Piano Keys is number 14. Sequence of one and I and one suit with two Pungs and a pair, two through eight. We have a pair here and a pair here. We need a four dot and an eight dot to complete the sequence. Now we don't need a pair in there. That's why I think maybe Peng Chao would be better. And you can Peng or Chao. So here we have a one, two, three, leaving an isolated two, five, six, seven, leaving an isolated six, and then a potential Peng. Or we could do Peng, Peng, and Peng here. Here would be a potential Chao. This way might be better one two three four blocks all we would need is a pair and that would be a mixture of pungs and chows pung chow is number 15 on page 18. so let's recreate this and focus on either windy gates with the north or betty with the dragons and the winds This is what we started with, and here's our Charleston. So this time, we're going to focus on dots and honors. So let's pass these three. So we'll keep the north and the nine, and we have three tiles to pass. This is going to be a little risky passing two threes. Different suits. Okay, this is where we got all the dots. This is why you don't want to pass all one suit. So now we have to decide, do we try for maybe windy gates? In which case we only need one pair. Windy gates is on page 21, number 34. 111 one, one with a sequence of two through nine or 999 nine, nine with a sequence of one through eight. So let's pass these. Well, the other thing I was thinking is we could play Betty. Seven odd honors with three pairs of simples. We'd have to throw away a pair of nines. So I think Windy Gates might be better. And just so you know, Betty is a pair hand on page 17. Three pairs in one suit, no terminals with seven odd honors and one honor paired. Honors are wins and dragons. Seven odd honors would be news, red, white, and green dragon, and then any one of those paired. So let's pass these and go for windy gates. So we have three discards. We are two tiles from windy gates. We need a four dot and an eight dot, and then pung here and pung here. So we have one tile less, but it is not f as flexible, and we have two single tiles that we need to get. And this part of the hand is concealed. We could pung here and here, but the rest you have to draw. So it is a little risky. Pung chow all in one suit is much more flexible. Yes, it's concealed, but you have a lot more flexibility with the tiles. So I think either hand would be viable if we were to play it through.
If you have a set of tiles at home, try Charleston Chain Reaction. It's a great way to test your instincts. If you are playing one suit or even one suit with honors, there are so many hands that you can play and just about anything will work if you make the right decisions at the right time. And when you play a one suit hand, there's great flexibility. You can always fall back to Peng Chao as long as you don't have any exposures. Now that particular hand has a requirement. You have to pick your winning tile, but since it is so flexible, it's winnable. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.